Three, two, one. Yo, welcome back, guys. It's Nick, Adam, in case anyone forgot who we were because it's been <laughs> so long since doing a video. First of all, I need to apologize for lack of content, but I was busy putting loads of COVID weight on. No, you're still skinny. Um, <laughs> we're doing a few bits. There's just no jobs we're going to have to record or worthwhile, was there, really? It's just been bits. So we're finally catching up with everything that we started nearly at the beginning that we're finishing off but i will put a picture up here this is the picture i put on instagram a while ago um well probably january february something like that. we both came around to have a look at this guy's house his electrics was tripping was it tripping what no. was it he just said he just wants the wiring yeah. looking at um we had a good route around sockets and fronts off tester out um the electrics in it are absolutely appalling old rubber everywhere um you'll see a picture that in the garage where there's a extremely extremely old strip light which is all the gubbins are over screwed to the wall and joists excuse me there's a really noisy course going past there's a guy walking past me as well wonderful um so what we finally got old and turn around and say is that we're going to come round quote up for a full rewire uh, make everything nice and modern i haven't asked him if we can do it yet as in record but We'll see. We'll see. We use Adam's beautiful good looks and charms to uh, coax him into it. But um, yeah, it's going to be full rewire. It's a three bed detached with a garage. Um, the wiring's a state, it really is. So uh, fingers crossed, I'll take you in and have a walk around. Right, customer says absolutely fine. Um, this video is sort of going to be like a how to, should we say, uh, price enough, what I would say, rewire. Um, I'm going to talk to Adam like I'm talking to you, trying to explain the situation and like, the different steps that I go through to sort of evaluate and assess the stages of going through writing stuff down adam's got the ipad out um hello um adam's got the ipad out all we normally do what i normally do we go across right each room hall landing stairs lounge bedroom how many sockets how many lights how many weights for the switches that sort of stuff first of all what i normally check is the earthing and this is a weird one because this is our fuse board so we've got uh well in theory four here and then another two in the garage which goes through to the right here these are old rewirable ones um from what i can see and what we checked last time with the tester i've just took the tester in again there's no earth the only earth we're getting through is um the bonding but even that i can't even see properly the gas isn't bonded whatsoever and i can't, i've seen the water but it's just um bonded above and below the meter but not to the board that i can see there's no spike outside, it's not a PME system, it's fresh tarmac outside. So what are we getting to read of five point what is it? Five point seven nine nine ohms on a ZS. So it's very high. So we might be speaking to Western Power to see potentially if the main cutout can be converted to a PME system. If not, dig a tunnel outside in the fresh tarmac. Got one of those um uh, earth tunnel box things. Jordan from Art Sand used one and Chris um, dig that into tarmac, dig below because obviously I don't want to be going through that main cable outside. So that's something to write down and note. But I think it's worth a phone call to Western Power to see if there's potentially anything they could do there and to make our life easier. So obviously, secondly, check out water and gas, which is here. Neither of them are bonded. Um, and if they are and it's hidden, it's only going to be six mil maximum anyway due to regulations. So we took some sockets and uh, some switches off. Most of it is wired in the old rubber, which you can see here, the black cable. Um, a lot of it is the old fabric cable, which is the tails feeding most of the boards. And then we've got some twin, some. There's a six mil going upstairs with what is the shower, I presume, and a cooker. There's some going up here. Um, obviously, IP rating on the uh, fuse boards are brilliant. Um, so yeah, that's sort of, I've took a picture of that, all of that with a new board will be combined into one RCBO board. We've got a way upstairs with that trunking, but even still, I'd probably take that off, put some fresh stuff on. So step one, check the board, see what we're saying. There's potential to rip all of that wood off, put a fresh bit off. We've got some, um, handy blocks to connect onto the new board. So yeah, so that's the first thing. Um, I probably put down a 14 way board, but we'll discuss that at the end when we figure out the circuit. So Adam's written down here, kitchen, lounge, garage, dining room, that sort of stuff. Um, so that's that one. So the earthing's gonna be a pain in the ass, but we'll see. 
So let's start in, or in the hall, let's go in the hall. So there's a socket here, so single, I never put single sockets anymore, they're always doubles. So we put a double in here, and that should be plenty. And the storage radio is here as well, where the fuse, oh, is that there? Oh, it's one of the old single socket slash few spur plates, so. One double and one few spur. Yeah, and there's another thing to check to see if there's economy seven or not. Um, on this meter, which would be a no. Oh no, sorry. Potentially that top one with the second tail coming out up to this one. So that would be converted into two boards then. So we'd have a, a storage heat board add and then we'd have a normal um, so mains board. Yeah, just put that, yeah, so anything particular. Obviously I've got this video to go back and double check stuff because I'm not doing it as I would normally. Um, write as much information down as you can or I sometimes use voice notes as I'm walking around. And there's my phone. Sorry about that. So Adam's just writing down, there's a porch light out here, which is decades old. No visible switch, because obviously this is brickwork for the house. That'd be fun to get to. And there's also, you know, when you're outside. So, recently it's tarmac sweet van. So if anywhere was going to be a spike, it would have been there. It's not in the garage. And there's nothing down the side. Of this beautiful light, it's fed in rubber and then it's duct taped back together. Sweet bro. Um, that's the only light out there. So I'm going to replace that for a... Four, no. Yeah, it's one of stock now, mate. Um, so in here we've got, in the hall mate, we've got one wall light. Yeah. Um, and we'll be doing, there'll be a switch there. There's no switch there, so we'll stick a new one in here. It's a stud wall. One there. And then, is it going to be behind this door? No. Christ, he turns his, flip them for us bud. Let's see if the, any of them. Right, that's, that's the wall. That's the wall. Yeah, it's the hall. That's the landing, sorry. So that one does nothing. Oh. Probably there. Yeah, it does in there. Okay. Right. So why I would suggest the customer is we can reroute that switch. We'll put the switch in there for that room. We'll put a two-way here for the hall and the stairs. We switch that across. So if you just write uh, hall, um, one light, two-way switch. I've already put one wall on. Yeah, that's fine. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, this might be a bit long-winded. I'll cut bits out. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So that's our first room. We've got our power. Was that, was that your phone? No, that's not. No, was that. Um, let's go to this room. Dining room. So dining room. Uh, so there would have been a light switch here originally. So this is all a stud. Oh, Christ, don't knock them off. So this has all been done before so the door potentially opened that way before so what we'll do is just one light and switch and dining room just put pendant yeah yep and then sockets we've got one well with rewires i was just sort of put one in each corner so four double sockets and then there's a gas fire which will probably have ignition <laughs> oh, fabulous is that an extension? Yeah, in a, okay. cord, in a corded cable. So, um, if anything, I can stick the double socket there. If he wants a plug still on it, I can drill it through and plug it in, but we'll cross that bridge if he accepts a quote. Um, right, that's that room, bud. We'll leave the lounge because customers well, in there at the room. moment. That so, that will be for each room that will be on the storage here. So, sorry. Sorry. And a few spur for storage and dining room, please. Yeah. Well, that is here. Right, so this is what we're saying with the light switches. So it's run in PVC, old school PVC, but it's still PVC. Uh, there's no earth and they are wooden black boxes. So it would be a literally chasing out jobby 
or well, I was going to say this at the end, we can recommend to the customer doing connect switches, wireless switches again, like we've done. We've done a rewire recently just after COVID, but we couldn't record it. it too, too much stuff to do. Um, so potentially we've got to make a mess anyway for the sockets. If you want to carry on making a mess and do the switches as well, or we do it wirelessly, the customer will give it a price for two different ones. So and these are the sockets. So unfortunately, full tiled wall. We've got rubber coming down. I can't tell quite if you can see that. Rubber coming down and then someone's attached PVC to the bottom. None of it sleeved or had a grommet in it. So hopefully, if that's the original cable, it should have some metal cap in here, which we can pull a feed down. If not, it's one of them, you just have to cross the bridge when you get there. Do you add extra money to cover cost or do you go, no, it's still the same cost and we will either pull the tiles off the customer and makes good. But all that sort of stuff should be spoken to the customer and then either written down in the quotation. So you're not at a loose end once you rip the tiles off and they go, oh, I thought you were repairing it and you obviously written all that down. So uh, one double socket. And an extension lead directly above the sink. Sweet. So let's put another one there too. Any there should be one for the cooker hood. God, how does this open? Why well, don't pull it off? Was it just resting on there? Is it down? Super as that sounds. I think it's just greased shut, to be honest. <laughs> wow. That's an old outlet. Yeah, so then write down few switch spur, please. One. So two sockets and two, oh, is there a socket behind there as well? Yeah, so we'll put down three double sockets, please. Three double sockets, a fridge, one here. I'll stick one further across to get rid of the danger of an extension lead run directly behind a the sink. There's no dishwasher, there is a washing machine. So we'll stick a double socket in there somewhere. So add another double socket on there, mate, please. And then we've obviously got the cooker and the hob. I always put two six mils in for a cooker and hob, and this is what we'll do here. So potentially, potentially they are running newer cable, um, but I'll put in the quote to replace it when it comes round to it. If the cable's okay, we test it fine. That'll obviously be knocked off and we'll speak to the customer, um, save the aggravation of doing that. But we will, oh no, that, so this is another thing, right? Gas meter's running, there's no bonding. That's the only gas in the house, and the pipe comes from there to this heater. Yeah, but we've got to run a tempo bond into that. Fabulous. We've also got a fuse board that does the outside lighting in the lounge. So that's really armored. So we'll have to have a look at that. You said half of them's working, didn't you? So we'll have a have a tinker yeah, see if we can figure patio out. Patio light. Okay. That's okay, and then. It's got to be something with the bulb. Well, it's got to be something electrical because the bulbs. If you t if you change the bulbs over, yeah, it still doesn't work on the left hand side. Right. Yeah. No, we'll have a we'll have a play. Well, that's a future thing. I mean, there's that much to be. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Well, with that uh, that board will be disconnected because of the age. Um yeah. But we can we'll I'll go out and have yeah. a look at it. Yeah. 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 Perfect. All right. I think it's but what what I had was lavender all the way around. That well. Lavender on three sides. Yeah. And I think digging the lavender up, I may have gone chip something. Yeah. Okay, is that just gas or is that electric? Just gas. But that's off the. Oh, I'm sorry, the electrics to light this up. Yeah, but it's, it's yeah. gas, okay. Yeah, it yeah. just needs plugging. But it's mainly, yeah. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, so. Uh, four double sockets in there out as well, please. That's a nice fuse board. Sorry, Timmy is part, please. Um, Right, we're sticking with the strip light, but we're just going to put a oh, yeah, I'll put that on then. modern LED one in. Panel, LED panel. Uh, uh, no, LED strip, please. And then let's venture outside to look at these lighting. So the gas meter's here. I presume that's the gas incoming, is it? Yeah, it's teed off. Oh no, that comes back round to that gas fire that we saw, right? Okay. Oh. oh wow ad don't touch that it's that brittle what does that run to just that light um okay stick a right at the bottom again for me just put um outside light 
as well, please. And I'll know how to quote that up. See what I can put a switch somewhere in. Well, why I switch it? Don't know. My new fave thing, innit, Ad? Yeah. Let's get this out of the way. So you just want to push that for light, yeah? Yeah, please. So that's the armour going in. It's clearly not glanded because it goes to the back of a plastic blunt. I said could be, I could be wrong, but they've just drilled it straight and I presume it's just taped off at the end and then fed straight to the board, so. Um, that can just be off a few spur. So in the lounge, mate, can you put a few switch spur for garden lights as well, please? It just really doesn't need its own fuse board for that. Another cheeky culprit. Nice. Is that tape around it? Yeah, it's tape around it. It's duct tape around the front one. Yeah. You love that day. Yeah. <laughs> right. Garage. This is right. I need to find a switch first before we come in here. Non existent. I don't know why you see that square, but that's actually a car ditch that just has a piece of wood on it that nearly killed me last time. So. Oh, this is a power switch. Oh, go on then. Alright, oh, Adam's dead. There's one here as well. Oh! Oh, brilliant. All these strip lights. I'm not surprised they work. Right, okay. You're on garage, yeah? Uh, yeah. Oh, I meant to bring the uni light in. Let's see if this opens. Let's see how bright we can get this. Oh, Jesus. Everything's falling apart. So this is what I've got. The cables fed from fuse board in here. Several do a few different things. That's a 2.5 that runs that way. No idea. Another fuse board. A switch. Jesus Christ. Uh, I presume that's a ballast for something, um, but it's just so old school and just rip bare and then put on there. Yeah. And we got, oh, that's the strip light. So we've got an old corded plug again that feeds to this strip light. It's older than me and Adam combined by the looks of it. Um, yeah, so all that will be going. We don't need another fuse board because the other one's there. Another one. So this is what you would have seen originally on my Instagram post if you follow me was this do not touch danger 240 volts I mean that's something special that is it's fed off rubber cable there's no earth so I mean it's worked for all these years apparently and it just doesn't work now or was that upper plug as well probably, probably. oh god I stood on the floor again so all this is going to be ripped out it's just naff and old and just needs updating and that's where that 2.5 disappears to up there. Oh, wicked cool. No idea. Yeah, so we do two 5.4 uh, LED strips, mate, for garage. Um, with a two-way switch, so obviously we can get a switch front and back. We'll get rid of these pull cords. They have seen better days. A bit of damp ceiling, it looks like it's leaking as well. Um, and then let's stick three double sockets in. So we'll have, oh, it's got three things plugged in here. Why have we got an oven in the garage? Freezer. So put four double sockets in, mate. We'll have one by the board. We'll have one over here. And we'll have two here, but not on here. I'll probably drop them behind the back and, well, we can use some FlexiCon ad, some flexi conduit. FlexiCon friends. Right, that's that done. Let's see what's in here. Even realize I was there. So that looks like where the power's been fed to the back of the fridge. Potentially. So the plug. Yeah, no, well, I won't put one in there because yeah. we can wire it in afterwards. Fridge supply in kitchen. Oh, look at this. I was right. God. And apparently, an electrician owned this house beforehand and this is his work. I didn't live here before. Right, let's go upstairs. You got all that stuff, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Sweet. I nearly fell down the hole again. That's from me, really, each other. Potentially. Oh, can I put landing as well? Yes, landing, please. Hey. By the way, thank you, Snickers. I need to do a Instagram thing, but Snickers sent me and Adam uh, some of their new summer range through. I, uh, I would have thought this would fit before COVID, but it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit tight now and Adam's got the same size, he's not wearing this today but Adam's got the same size one as me so Adam floats away at the wind when there's a strong breeze and I, uh, yeah, well yeah, it's a bit tight. Right, landing. One thing we also need to mention is smoke alarms. So we're going to need a heat in the kitchen, 
and two smokes, landing and haul. But just put that additional notes at the bottom, mate, it'd be easier. Yeah. Yeah. Any rewire, to my knowledge, I always do it anyway, you need to be putting in some form of mains pads alarm, smoke alarm system. Oh Christ, it's massive. Okay, sorry, I'm just looking around his house. Uh, so landing, double socket, um, we've got the light, and obviously it's, already, it's a two way as well for the lighting. Just one double? Uh, two, there's one over there as well. And then pendant and switch. Well, a two, uh, two pendant and two, two, two gang, two way, sorry. Yes, two way, what have I got on me now? I keep thinking like I'm really tanned, which slightly am anyway. But this mirror, mirror is, is like pink. That like making everything pink. Two two games. Right. Two way. So a one light with two way. So two ways, bottom of the stairs to the top of the stairs, yeah? Yeah. So that should be that. I presume that's the bathroom. Yeah, oh it's a oh it's a heater in there. Okay, so put mm, this main bedroom or bedroom one, whatever you want to put down yeah, mate. bedroom one. So Two lights, two switches. Voila. I think I tried to put this one down before, but I didn't want to play a ball. Sweet, bro. Yeah, oh God, well, why did I do that? Oh God. Is all that there? That's right, I know it. I am super tall. Wonderful. Um, right, you got that. So socket wise, you've got one there. Any in it? I haven't seen the boiler yet, so. No, John. Shoes. So double socket there. We've got a few spur for the storage heater. Extension leads everywhere. Extension leads run from there. God. This can't be like the main bedroom, can it? This is main bedroom, yeah. Um, socket, double socket here. This looks like they're all fed into here. There it is there. Wow. <laughs> um, and then a double socket there. And uh, so just do a double either side of the bed, mate. Okay, one, two, three. Four, four double sockets. We got a few spur for the heater. Yeah. Aerials, I'm not touching them. Not my job. Well, if they want me to do it. There's nothing in there. Right, we have to find the boiler in a bit as well. Please don't be in the loft. Uh, bedroom two. Oh, it's just a two bed. Oh, it's a cat. Hello. Um, double socket, so we got one, two, three, just to put three in here. And then a light and a switch, mate. Hello. Was that your belly for the cats? I'm not sure. There's an old boy. Uh, yeah, what I'll probably do as well. Some people as well, if they've never seen this, see how far across the light fitting is from the center of the room should be here. Why did they do that, Adam? Why did they do that? Why is it pushed so close to the window? Oh, this is because back in the old days, before curtains were a thingy thing in the head, they fishnet stuff, didn't they? Um, so you put it there, so if you're getting undressed at night, you don't cast a shadow on the window, so your neighbours can't see you getting undressed. So if you're here, the shadow's cast that way, so that way. Yeah. But if you put it in the centre, if you stood here, people can see you. But some people like that. But normally what I do is offer just to move it across, but people don't want to decorate the ceiling, they don't go back in the same place. Right, next room. It is now. It's gone now. Bathroom. Right, cool. Heater in here. Oh, Jesus. Right, bathroom, uh, boiler. We'll put a new feed to do a few spare for the boiler, please. Fabulous. Whatever that is. That's cut off anyway. This would have been an old immersion in here at some point. The isolation switch for the shower. There's a six mil going up there. And there's electric shower. That's not fun, so that'll be going. So we've got that. 
shower feed. So bathroom, just put six, um, six or ten mil. Just put six mil down for now, and I can have a word with the customer. So just put six slash ten. Six, yeah, six slash six slash ten. Um, cooker feed plus ISO. So pour cold okay. isolation. What did I say? I keep cooking. Uh, did I say cooker? Shower. Yeah. I'm used to doing six months for cooker. This is fabulous. I presume this doesn't work anymore. Turn that light on, mate. The switch by the wall. The switch on the wall beside you. Quite bright, actually, yeah. Oh, is that going to be that? Yeah, I can get a shower, can you? Click that for me, mate. No, that, that switch in there. No, don't, don't do anything. Shall I leave this on or off? No, turn it off. Potentially that, but I'm not digging too deep. That's coming down, so I don't like it. I'm saying to the customer, if you want something, we can do something. I presume the blowy is in here because that doesn't work. So we'll put just an IP rated fit in. Rip this out. Oh my God, that confused me. Should we just put a 2D fit in for now? Yeah, it'll be fine, mate. And then we can speak to the customer, see if he wants to change the shower over or keep it as is. And we also have a shaver socket in there, mate. But it's old, but if it's got an earth on it, I'm more than happy to keep that fitting. We'll put it down. I don't need to put a switch for in there because it's already on the landing. Yeah, that's fine. And then we've got toilet. toilet. So literally just a switch and a pendant. And then, oh, this is the shower isolation here. Yeah. Change that over. Sweet. Did you put 2D fit in as well there or is it pendant? I just put a pendant there. It's no regulations being just a toilet. And then I was putting the quotes as well, just a double socket in the loft. So additional, or just put loft, make yourself a new one. So loft, double socket, and then we'll do just a pendant and a switch. Cool. And that ain't far off for us. So we need to just gonna have a conversation now with switch the customer board. about. Pull cord. Just do a switch, pull cord. Breaking my experience in last because you're always at a funny angle um i've checked the customer about patching up i don't patch up i've done it in a few videos i'm not particularly interested with this one um because it's going to be quite a lot isn't there mm -hmm. lifting up carpets the customer then again will be pre-warned about picking up old carpets they don't always go back down 110 percent as they were before um cover your ass as much as you can to a degree not don't make excuses but potential things that could go wrong and if you think they might write it down in the quotation or the estimate whatever you call it of potential things that might need adapting or fixing or just stuff like that if you know what I mean um once that's done we'll sort of jot down I run through exactly like how many double sockets or light switch and then you guys can guess a rough price <laughs> to what I quote um but yeah I'm gonna have a chat with the customer I'll catch you back in a minute Right, now I'm magically back at home. Uh, I've had a with the customer. He knows that I'm not plastering. He knows that I'm not making good of anything, decorating and whatnot. Um, of personal preference, really. I don't, I'm there to do electrics, not patch up. No offense to other guys that do it. It's, uh, I just don't want to, <laughs> as clear as day. Uh, there's better people out there suited that would do a better job than me. So uh, I let them stick at it. So I've spoken to him about the connect switching the possibilities for it but i did say to him it doesn't really make sense seems they're already making a mess chopping out walls for sockets and everything the most of the light and it's only half a wall anyway so it makes sense just to, to hardwire it uh, but what i will be doing is running a uh, three core and earth one mil to each switch that will then allow me to take a neutral a permanent neutral to there in case any smart switches want to be uh, be there in the future uh, that's for every socket run down you've got three five foot led strip lights you've got um what i call a 2d led fitting like the bathroom ones the round ones uh three outside lights with switches shaver socket um i wasn't going to go down exactly how i broke the cost down because i've already done that previous video which i'll link at the end the prices have slain, changed slightly uh, after re releasing my video to say this how much it is i had a lot of people saying that is quite cheap for what they would quote but at the same time it's different all over the country. It's different here in Stafford, but it would be to Leicester or to London or that sort of stuff. So um, you can go with me. I'll, I'll read out what we've got. So we've got 27 double sockets. Uh, so for a light switch and a pendant, 
um, which is just a one way, one way, one gang switch. Uh, there's eight of them. Uh, light switch with the two way, uh, there's three of them. Wall light and switch, two of them. A uh, few spurs, so one for the um, extractor in the kitchen. Uh, one was for someone else, one was for something else, I can't remember. I've written down somewhere, there's three of them. Uh, so cooker, hob and shower all have their individual six mil feeds to it. The guy said six mil's fine, he's never gonna go anything bigger than that. Uh, there's two smoke alarms and a heat alarm, mains powered, uh, three, foot, uh, three LED five foot strips, 2D fitting, outside light, shaver socket, that sort of stuff. So I'm putting in a 14 way RCBA board and also a five way RCBA board for the storage heaters. Um, obviously there's, there's four storage heater spurs as well. So with the bonding, with the tails, um, that's in there is incorporated to do an earth spike as well and the tarmac somewhere without killing myself. But first, I'm going to ring Western Power, have them go check the property out, see if they can convert it to a PME system. If not, then it's going to be a TT, which is going to be all kinds of fun. So, all in all, my price came to four, uh, four, five, six, five. Um, there's no VAT. I'm not VAT registered. That's the price, labour and materials. Might be too cheap for someone. Might be too expensive. But I'm going to give him a call in a minute, run through that, have a chat. Fingers crossed, he's happy with it. The fact it is around the corner from my house makes it a lot easier. So, uh, yeah, break it down. You're in stages with your earth in, with your sockets, can't remember there are. Just some people, when I first started, it was very overwhelming to quote a rewire. But if you break it around room per room and then you do a cost per fitting, it makes life a lot easier. All right, see you soon.